What's up guys? I'm here. I am properly dressed for the Volkswagen Saw. This is the B8 2.0 Highline and uh, let's take a look at it. Well, first and foremost, I love the color. I think I'm getting older, man. I love this kind of color. I think it's very luxurious, very premium type of color. It has a lot of presence when it comes up. Woo! I think it makes the car appear bigger than it actually does. Light color, my right? And I think it goes very well with the grill because the grill is black. However, I don't think it makes the chrome lines around the car pop up as much. Well, if you're into that, then this color would be great. If not, get a darker color. Okay. <coughs> Again, if I tend to clear my throat a lot, I'm sorry because haze and a sinus, so it's not really a good combination. All right. <coughs> Look at the headlights. So the headlights is daytime running LED headlights as well as adaptive headlights. Adaptive headlights meaning it follows where the steering wheel goes and you have headlight washer here. Yep, yep. These are the famous Volkswagen grills whereby everything is horizontal. Of course, this is the B8, B7 being a less fierce looking one. This one appears very sleek and the feel that this car gives me is a very what do you call professional type of feel you know professional type of feel executive kind of feel you know and uh, I okay I get that this is the high line high line why well, I can't speak properly this is the high line but I don't appreciate the yellow lights for fog lights I would have imagined it to be LED <coughs> then again um, it's a little things that you know just up to your preference I'm not too sure that's an option whether you can opt for an LED one um, all right looking at the side profile again you can tell chrome lines at the bottom doesn't pop out with this color but if you want it to pop out then get another color darker one you have 18 inch alloy rims dart for it dart for it actually and uh, check out all the lines this color actually accentuates all the lines oh very prominent on the camera as well check out how it has continuity so it comes all the way down and it follows all the way here and all the way up there oh all the way back too so it goes you can tell in the camera it's also oh man it would be nice it it had connected it all the way here or connected it to something but it just ended here however this one connected all the way to the front and also ends just right there as you can tell this is a premium luxury car because the line sets sorry the line sits at the door handle area if it would sit lower it would look more like a performance car a uh, broader bottom but this one it's a very nice sedan very good looking I would say it's a very good looking car it I, I really think it looks fantastic and too and the feeling that you get from just sitting and driving around this car I like it okay even though it's daytime I must show you they have the light at the bottom here so when you turn off the car and you get out of the car this actually lights up to show you where you're going whether there's puddle water um, in front of you so that you don't step on it now the back very simple oh no oh no be right back guys hey right, guys where was i i'm so sorry so for the back um very minimal i like it very much and i feel like the tail lights match this color very very well red kind of a light bluish metallic you can see the very prominent lines as well very nicely done and uh, there's not much going on which i personally like um it's a tsi which is turbo bleh, turbo charge stratis stratified turbo turbo charge stratified injection turbo charge lah and um, yeah, it has fog lights at the bottom as well. Yes, you can turn them on. It's not just reflectors. There's dual tailpipes. It's 
What's this? Is one? Is there another one here at least? Okay lah, there is but Why lah? Okay, opening the boot Woo! There's no button, it's very easy, you just pop it like that and it's powered tailgate getting into oh, if I'm not wrong it's 568 lead ow oh this is my yoga for the day again oh okay so this if I compare it to the 52 I the one that I just did which is the 52 the BMW 52 I um luxury line this is a little bit longer yes longer because when i was in a 5 to i i couldn't stretch out my leg as much this one i can stretch it out and i haven't even touched see so it's bigger definitely bigger and um there's a hook right here for you to hang stuff and it's very easily accessible pull it down hook some stuff there I can chill in the boot and uh yeah buttons here so okay i'm not at an angle to pull it i'll pull it later ah yep Woo, this is removable put it down very easy to use yep Ooh, i'm just not doing it right yep Ooh, very good quality and it sits there for you to just put small stuff inside so that it doesn't move 12 volt socket right there what do i have on the other hand here nothing this is just mine can i move this as well oh, i'm pretty sure i can hooks here yes i can yep very good quality there's hooks here as well check it out see and just gonna get out yeah oh, what a hole Woo, drink many many water guys it's uh very very hot okay and this place here Ooh, is it supposed nope it's not supposed to be is it supposed to be like that can i just am i supposed to do that or ah i see Ooh, extra tire and you have everything to change your tire with it is the exact same tire means it's not a super saver exact same extra tire at the bottom of the boot guys and oh right this to pull yep it falls all the way down hi Ooh, check out those sexy eyebrows give me some give me some dance dance <laughs> it falls all the way down and uh, this safety feature as well Puh. yep it stops right there um this one there are no dual buttons because some of the cars they come with a function to close the boot as well as to lock the boot um from the boot <laughs> so this is just to close the boot and uh yeah that's about all now let's head inside now guys this is a keyless entry Volkswagen key and uh, you can lock it to all four doors Fold the mirrors Kasian He has to sit there and uh, unlock See if I walk away whether there's a feature for it to automatically lock Nope, it doesn't do that doesn't Ta -da. interior time let's go ah. all right so i'm on the inside and uh, starting the car now um brake start engine here check out how my seat moves in front that's a premium feature check out what happens when i stop the car and when I open, I moved back. That's nice. It gave me a little bit of um, room to exit the car. Okay. Oof. All right, and it's back to start. Okay, so what I noticed from sitting in the car for a while now is the interior design. Can I just leave you here? Hello, okay. 
<coughs> now, the interior design feels very horizontal. Now, look at the, the, the car seat. Look at the seat. It's very horizontal here as well as here. And if you look at the dash, this is called a brilliant pine sort of accent that you have right here and everything is horizontal as well feels very executive feels like a very corporate car honestly to me i i don't know it, i don't think i've reached that age again to appreciate this kind of things but i do get the appeal i mean i look at this chrome accents here it's, it's really a lot of fine detailing yeah and uh, same as the b7 they have just an analog watch right here i love that they kept this analog not sure if it's in here check out the eight inch screen infotainment system so they have a clock right here and they have a clock right here as well so dual timing yeah dual time zone climate i don't know basically they just have two times yeah <coughs> so anyway Again, um, 8 inch screen, touch screen, Ooh, touch screen. What I like about this touch screen is when I just move my finger, it can sense that I'm going to touch, so options pop out. So, for example, let's say I go into media, oh, or settings. Um, let me just go to radio. Ooh. For music reviews and how the sound system um, how the sound system sounds like my driving review guys. Alright, so for example here and I'm just gonna see it can detect that I'm gonna that I'm going near it and I'm gonna press something. So I think that's a very nice feature. Um, other than that, yes you have rotary, love the feel of these, love the feel of the buttons. Love the it doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, I love this feature. However, look at all the dust that's accumulated here. Piano black kind of design inside here. Ash tray. I'm guessing this is an ash tray. Oh, oh, uh oh. What am I doing? Oh no. Okay, I think it's just gonna pop when it's hot, right? So, cigarette lighter right there. And um, yeah, it's basically an ash tray. Oh, it popped. Yeah, cigarette lighter. I haven't seen this in a very long time. <coughs> and uh, everything looks very clean. Um, not much to comment on the design, to be honest. Just a lot of chrome and black. A little bit of brown going on. Again, horizontal lines everywhere. Horizontal lines, everything is just horizontal. This one, I don't really like the feel of this. Because you see, it feels a little bit flimsy. Although, yes, it works perfectly, but yeah. This could be a key holder or it could be like small little bits of rubbish holder. And what I like about this is you can just take this and you can clean this. I think this is a very good little detail add-on feature. Or just little things that they do to the car which gives us more appreciation and um, just more comfortable for the user and passengers. Um, <coughs> this is the center console, the armrest, and it just clicks at every angle. And you just go all the way down. There's no bot bot there's no button to click or unclick. It's just, I'm, I'm not sure what this mechanism is called, but yeah, you have no button to unlock or lock. It just opens and closes. And in the middle, you don't have much Space actually is very long, but it's not wide. It's uh, there's a USB port, auxiliary cable, and a rubbish bin. Could also be an ashtray, so there are two ashtrays here. Wonder why, guys. Don't smoke so much, okay? Please, I'll go for help, okay? Please, please, okay. All right, talking about the meter cluster, it again is the same as the Golf Mark 7.5. But there are so many things going on. Uh, this, I will go for the cleanest meter cluster, instrument cluster there is. Um, 
yeah this is just too much going on for me i would definitely choose the simplest setting available yes no doubt there's a lot of information that is given a lot of things that it tells you about the car but um not really to my liking lah, huh? although this is an active info display which means let me just go to navigation and uh it shows here vehicle status driving data navigation do you want to display the map in the instrument cluster okay Ta-da! so it shows the map right here as well i think that's a very nice feature you can tell what's going on you can tell where you're going and i think that's very nice <clears throat> yep this is moving to, and i think that's very nice all right moving to the side love the continuity i don't know why they, they don't put this to the end it just stops right here and um yes this continuity is nice again very horizontal lines again you see right here and a nice continuity when you lock it will illuminate so it tells you that it's locked i like that again all this illumination it tells you where you're currently at you don't have to like oh uh, where's my arrow pointing i'm not too sure I have a space here to fit a smart tag. This is great. I didn't know I have smart tag here. <laughs> so just the right fit for a smart oh my god for a smart tag. And um, check this out. So when I open the boot, look at how it flings open so quickly. I'm not sure if I can close the boot from here. Let me try. Uh, no, it's not working, but this is actually a little bit scary for me. Yes, I appreciate that it opens the boot by itself, but it's like if I don't get it out of the car fast enough, then people can just rob me, you know. Yeah, that kind of... That kind of paranoia comes into play. So I'm just going to close the boot really quickly right now. Be right back. Right, certain things that I haven't mentioned is they have... This, I I think this is a very old school. It's your sunglasses holder because I remember my mom using it and she loved this when I was young. When we were young, yeah, if you're the same age as me, then why not, right? Yeah. Oh, I can turn on the lights from the front. That's nice. Uh, I'm guessing when I open my door, the lights come on. So if I choose un this one open yeah it doesn't come on so that's for your doors that is when so this button is basically if you want lights when you open your doors then you choose it if not unchoose it yeah okay let's head to the back all right heading to the back yeah i locked the thing unlock all right so just now I attempted to put the seats down. Now I'm attempting to put the seats up. <sighs> so, for the side compartments, similar back and front, it can fit a whole bottle just like this. That's very nice. I think um, not many cars can fit a bottle this huge. Um, face for scale. Yeah, okay. So they have, do, can I adjust how, no, that's about it, I can't adjust anything else, whether I want stronger or not strong or no, I can't adjust anything, so I can just adjust the temperature and that's about it, nothing else. Okay then, and what's this? Oh, it's, it's, it's one socket here guys, just one. Uh, uh, putting this up again, I also fix mounts. Here and here again, um, very horizontal design language. Cup holders. Ooh, ooh. So you have a pass through in the middle. This is for those European countries that go skiing. It's Switzerland. Hi, Miss Switzerland. Yeah, I guess that's it about the back. Right, right, the headroom. There's a lot of room right here guys. I really think it's not because I'm 160. It's just a lot of room like I think it'll be quite comfortable for a long distance drive. It's a little bit uptight. Uptight. It's a little bit upright. It's not that upright. It's okay. 
and uh, I have a lot of thigh support right here a lot of leg room as well yep Ooh. this feels like I can break it anytime and it can just snap yeah so reclinable no adjustable yes yep and this is nice okay guys that's all let me know what you think I think it's very comfortable car if I do say so myself okay bye if I did miss out you can also access the boot from the front